Hello and welcome back. And welcome to the Triumph Rocket. I've wanted to test this bike, I think probably for about a year or so. And usually performance engine size doesn't, doesn't specifically end up at the top of my list, but this is such a unique machine. I had to test and experience what two and a half liters is like. So let me just try and get this out of the garage. This is no ordinary bike because it's got, it's got an electronic steering lock. I had to check the manual on how to actually lock this bike. So let me get this outside, put the Harley Davidson next to it because somehow this bike is so gigantic, it even makes the Harley look small. It's intimidating. I'm not going to lie to you. It is, especially when it's a little bit slippery like it is in Cornwall. Oh, it's a big, big beast. I think this is around about 23,000 pounds, but this is the Chrome edition with this stunning, stunning tank. Of course, I'll do a review video in one or two videos time. But that's an unbelievable feat of engineering. Just look at the size of the engine. Monica, while you pan around, just film a bit of that. I'll bring the Harley out to show you the difference between a, a big bike and a colossal bike. First up, this feels old now. Putting a key in the side of the bike and using the steering lock like this. And actually, the Harley in general, it feels, it's, oh, it feels weird compared to the Rocket. It feels so old school and analog and the riding position is completely different. They're, they're very, very different bikes, almost no similarities at all. So, oh, the, the light is still on on this one. I'll turn it off. Okay. <laughs> You may wonder why we're going out on this bike when it's a bit drizzly and a bit damp. That's because, fun fact here, I didn't realize this, Cornwall receives almost double the rainfall of East Anglia. So waiting for it to stop being slightly drizzly may be a futile attempt at seeking perfection for bike riding. So, Harley-Davidson 1.7 litres, Rocket 2.5 litres. The difference in the physical size of this bike when you're sitting on it and also, I mean, I'm almost dwarfed on this. Just the overall position, you can feel it. The weight is so much higher up on this bike, meaning that if you get into a tricky situation, look, watch this. Let's say I need to do a manoeuvre here and I need to push the bike. I'm not joking, I'm trying... <laughs> Up the hill! Oh, oh, I've got to be like a powerlifter, pigeon steps. Okay, so that's that. And then watch on the Harley. Jump onto the Harley, still 317 kilos. I can almost run. So much more manageable. Mm -hmm. So this on these tight lanes, got to be careful. We'll take you with us today Boy. because We'll go to a coffee shop, grab a coffee on the rocket, and we will then, I need to go into Falmouth to do a few chores. I'll take you with us, do a little bit of a day in Falmouth. Excuse the weather, it's extremely Cornish, but there is one thing I'd say. Cornwall may not specifically be famous for weather, but my Lord, the beaches, the color of the sea, completely unmatched anywhere in England. It really is glorious. Monica, come here, one more thing I want to show just before we head off. Wait, no, don't look, don't look. <laughs> now come over. Too late. <laughs> we were looking and wondering, where? Where's the foot peg here? Mm -hmm. Monica was in despair thinking she couldn't come for a coffee with me <laughs> just two days ago. She was in floods of tears. And I said, Monica, there's nothing to worry about. Watch this. That's slick. That is seriously slick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
The, the quality is, is completely exceptional on this. Okay, we'll get our stuff on, head off for a coffee. Before we go, I know a lot of people are going to ask me which one I'd pick. There's around about a £5,000 difference in price between these two. Analog, completely futuristic. Rocket ship or old school vibes. Can I have an extra video just to decide? I'll do an extra couple of rides on the rocket and I'll make a decision about which one I would actually buy between the two of them. But this is just to rub it in because I need to make the most of this because the Harley goes back tomorrow. This is 40,000 pounds worth of motorcycles here together. I've never had anything like that amount in a garage. So this one day of, of crossover, I'll soak it all in. You see more interesting vehicles in Cornwall in one day than you do anywhere, well, anywhere that I've lived, whether it's London or Ipswich. 1981 Mark I Golf, original condition. Look at that gold champagne colour. I used to own a Mark I Golf actually. I had to get rid of it because the bottom was so rusted it failed an MOT and then I shipped it off actually, funnily enough, everything's about Ireland recently, I shipped it off to a gentleman in Ireland who was planning to restore it. I love that vehicle. And I'll show you one more, Monica, from, can I say this, the year you were born. Okay. Toyota Space Cruiser. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just the name as well, it's so of its time, isn't it? Space Cruiser, equally as special. Yesterday we were here, if it's still here, I'll show you. There's a, I think BMW, I think it's an R65 up here as well. It's a treasure trove of classics. But you know, the difference here is, these are classics, maybe apart from this one, that are actually being used all the time. The amount of these cool old vehicles that people just use on a daily basis, not tucked away in a garage or something, out there being used as transport the way it should be, it's fantastic. I turned on rain mode, probably for the best. And you have to think differently on this bike. Going down a tight country lane and there's a car coming up the hill and I was thinking to myself, please, my Lord, stop. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to maneuver this backwards with two people on the bike. Luckily they stopped and pulled over, but you've got to seriously plan ahead because if someone's coming the other way and they expect you to just reverse back a bit because you're on a bike, it's not going to happen. It's, well, it's got a bigger engine, I would guess, than 95% of cars currently sold and on the market. And there is zero chance this is being slow maneuvered anywhere unless, worst case scenario, you have to just lean yourself into a ditch and hope that you can pull yourself back out like that. But apart from that, forget it. There's no reversing at all on this unless you're, I would say, seven feet tall and about 120 kilos, and you can literally put your legs at that kind of angle.
This is incredible. Honda Rally. I'm not familiar with this number plate, but I assume it must be USA because it says USA and California, I guess. Calif California. Well, surely there's no way he's ridden from California on this, but it's got a few battle scars. That's incredible. Very rare to see American vehicles over in Europe in general or the UK. I think this may be the bike Itchy Boots has actually. Really? I think so. That's incredible. I mean, of course it could do it. <laughs> wow. Incredible effort. Or Cali. Excuse me? <laughs> or Cali. <laughs> Welcome to Falmouth. This is the local town for us. It's about five or ten minutes drive away. Beautiful little Cornish seaside town right on the waterfront over here and it's it's got a bit more of a local vibe to it than some of the other busier Cornish towns. Like real Cornish feel to it with all of the locals going about their normal daily lives and not completely overrun with tourism. Plus there's history everywhere. I can just walk down the side streets here and imagine the times of pirates, the smugglers, all of these kind of things. I can imagine people have been hung from here in the past. You look at these old doors, just for someone peeping out there so they don't get robbed or something. And look at this, a door made out of the side of a boat. And this off the top of a ship, and this is just down a random little alley. It's a feast for the eyes everywhere. Okay, Monica, we need to get back. We need to race back on the rocket because I've got to record a podcast. Dinner sorted. I massively recommend these. Cornish Bakery in Falmouth. Onion, bhaji, cauliflower. Something mm -hmm. cauliflower, onion, bhaji, pasty. Oh, they're exquisite. The rocket as well. Just initial thoughts. Actually, it's perfectly manageable once you get moving. Head turner of a bike ridiculous head turner so going to get back gorge my pasty get on with the podcast and we'll wrap it up there thanks so much everyone for watching and we'll see you all in the next one still got about five days left still from Falmouth I'll see you then <laughs>